Okay, in this video I will show you how we could draw a simple object like this, uh, just a step block with a hole in it. Uh, notice the hole is blind, it doesn't go all the way through. Uh, so we will draw this step block in isometric projection. Um, now, if I were doing this for real, um, I would do it in, probably in pencil first with some construction lines and then I would go over it with pen. But um, to make it easier for you to see, I'd do it all in uh, pen right from the start. Now, um, these angles here, that should be 30 degrees, and that's going to go straight up. Now, um, this is the edge here, so we're going to draw that edge, and what I'm doing, the technique I'm using is called crating, like drawing a crate, and so all of these are going to be in parallel. Um, this is quite narrow, so this distance here, will be relatively narrow. Um, this is quite long, so this distance will be relatively long. So this line will, should be parallel with this. And uh, this line should be parallel here. And hopefully you can see that this one as well make parallel there. So it's very easy. If you just move the page around, then you can get lines in parallel. So now we want to do um, this line here. So in parallel with this, because this line these two lines are in parallel with each other. So let's go up like that. Uh, let's have some more lines there. And so coming across there in parallel like that. And then coming across there in parallel like that. And then here like that. And then that goes up there. And then hopefully like that. Now remember, if you were doing this in pencil, you can adjust it. I think I got that line slightly off there, but not really bothered about it. Now let's not forget the hole. If you look at the hole straight on, it's circular. If you look at the hole um, sideways on like that, uh, it's not quite circular. It's a little bit squished. So let's just squish it a little bit like that. And now, now that I've um, created the thing, so it's like a box, and inside that box I've got a step. So now that I've got that, what I do is just uh, um, choose the lines which I want, because remember these would normally be in pencil. Let's just see if I can straighten that up a little bit. There we go. So this would be the point at which you would probably do it in pen, or just go over heavier in pencil if you wanted. That would probably be fine, nine times out of ten. You can always finally go over in pen if you want. And uh, notice I'm not taking any measurements. I mean, you could be measuring with a ruler. You could make uh, things straighter as well. But generally speaking, isometric projection like this is just a bit of a 3D representation of what it could look like. So it doesn't look too bad at all. Um, so um, next step would... Uh, you could just leave it like this. Um, you could add some shading in, so maybe some coloured pencils on the inside. Uh, or just use a normal conventional pencil and just shade in a little bit as well. I don't think that's going to come out very well with a pen. Um, and then the other thing that a lot of people do, which actually makes it look quite nice, is add some colour around the outside edge. So I've just got a highlight here. Maybe not the best tool for it, but we'll just try this. So just keep it on the outside. There we go. In fact, let's just turn around like that. It would be easier to keep it on the outside of the line. And then, so we go around, and a lot of people actually, they go over the corner, past the corner, and then they go past the corner again. So you've got like that, that cross bit on the edge, which can actually look quite good. I'm not particularly artistic, but you know, it looks all right. There we go. And that isn't too bad for a step block. Now we could add dimensions, um, and in fact, why not? If you, but normally we wouldn't. But um, why not? Let's just give it a go. So I could add some dimensions here. So I'm going to add some leader lines here, and then I could add some arrows. So what's that height? So you know, if you are actually going to do this, you you get. Um, a, uh, 
ruler out and you'd actually make some measurements, but you know, I don't know. I'm not going to waste time there, so let's say that's 30. Um, it's good if you keep lines in parallel again, so let's just do that. Let's assume that's 20. Let's say that that is just make up a number here. Obviously you wouldn't be making them up, so let's say that that is 40. Now, um, if you wanted, you could add that distance, or put that dimension in. Now if you added that dimension, you wouldn't need the full length, because obviously this dimension plus this equals this, or the alternative is to just add this. So if I say said that this was, um, I don't know, 70, if that's 70 minus 40, so that leaves us 30, so I don't need to add a dimension in there, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, now this one's going to be a little bit tricky here because we want uh, a couple of things, two or three things actually. Uh, we want to know the radius of the circle, so the way I would probably do that I would add this line just pointing to the outside, and now I'd say R, just radius, and uh, let's just make up a number there, so R10. Um, now, the other thing, we need to know how far the centre of that, or most likely I would want to know the centre, the centre of that from an edge, or maybe from both edges. Um, oh, we haven't got the width of it yet, have we? So let's just get that in. Just make up a number, it really doesn't matter. Let's, let's assume it's 50. Now, um, so I want to know where the centre point is now. Centre lines are drawn like this, so they're drawn like dash, dot, dash, dot, like that. Um, hidden lines, like that, or dots. So anyway, so centre lines, let's go dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, like that. And then I'll go across in parallel again. Okay? dash dot dash dot dash like that and then so then I can then have some dimensions here so I'm just going to do that hopefully you can see that it's quite easy if I have that and then I, I can then draw the or rather write the dimension on the side here so if this were halfway and that's 50 mil so that's going to be 25 millimeters from that so I don't need to write that dimension because I know 50 minus 25 is 25 so it's in the center and then or what's the distance um, from the back edge so um, you can you could add a dimension line there if you wanted or you could add a dimension line there so I'm gonna go for that so um, oh uh, no put that in the wrong place didn't I shouldn't have done it in pen don't do things in pen first, so I want to go from that point. There we go. So that would be, um, well, whatever, 20. Okay, messed that one up a bit, didn't I? There you go, there's a lesson for you. Don't do it in pen. Okay, that's it.